My name is Alfred. You get in trouble. So I'm gonna Jolie. leave you. That's Jolie. my solution. Jolie. Alfred would never do that. Jolie. He would never leave Bruce Wayne. Hi. 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 The most movement you will see me do this weekend. <laughs> Unless I do my cat catwoman cosplay. I'm two crunches away from some high heels, so watch out. <laughs> Everybody. I look forward to learning all of your names and then trying to really hard remember them. Like fair. Thank you. Thank you. A little bit of death for kid. They're, they're announced more of that in Japan. More soul leaders. That's exciting. I don't want to spoil the end for you, but we win. I want to apologize right now for this long hair and all this stuff going on right here. I'm shooting a movie right now and I can't tell you what it is. Aww. I can only give you a hint. What's it called? Days of Future Past? What? Right? Is that what it's called? Do you guys know this, this, comic, this comic series I'm talking about? X-Men? Yeah. Wolverine? Right? Who else is in this suck? Magneto? I can't tell you what the title is. Professor X? The movie has nothing to do with that. I, I read that online. I thought I was in it. Never mind. I just read about that. I wasn't in it. Um, but I was filming a movie this weekend, so if you see me sleeping on couches and things like that out there, come say hi to me. I'm just tired from shooting a movie all week. I actually, it, was, it takes place in Austin, which is in Texas, for those of you that don't travel outside of the Illinois area, and there are some of you, that's okay. That's totally cool. You've got deep dish pizza, and that's great. You hold on to that. You hold on to that. Pequod's, I love that place. Anyone, anyone? Is that the best pizza place, right? Pequod's? Chicago's? Oh, Giordano's? That Giordano's is like a touristy, like, pizza place, though. Isn't it? It's like saying, where's the best place to see sea creatures, sea world? No, the best place is in the ocean! <laughs> But, uh, but it's really hot here. The weather lied to me. Siri told me it was going to be 75 here. She lies to me all the time! <laughs> Siri, Siri, on my phone, who's the most handsome between Vic Mignogna and Todd? <laughs> and it, said, it says me, and I know it's lying now because it says it's 75 here! <laughs> Um, but it takes place in Austin, and what I did yesterday, I, was, I had to drive from Austin to Funimation, or... Funimation, um, and, and to record on some stuff, and I took cookies, un I took cookies right out of the package, put them on the dash, and I put them, uh, their dashboard cookies, and the heat, that was me, and the heat cooked those SOBs, and those cookies were ready to rock in like four hours, and I got a speeding ticket actually on my way to Chris Sabat's studio, Vegeta, how cool is it to say, my, my boss is Vegeta, that's pretty cool. You, when you get written up there, you get Kamehameha through the wall. But um, on my way there, I got pulled over, and uh, I, I was speeding. Of course, I drive a Batmobile. Why wouldn't you speed? Um, and so he pulls me over, and he, and he writes a ticket, and we go through the whole song and dance of like, oh, do you know why I pull you over? Why I pulled you over? I go, of course I know. I even said, I go, of course I know why you pulled me over. I was speeding, dude. I just didn't have time. I was going to be late to overtime. I'm like, let's just speed this process along. You know what I mean? It's kind of like on dates. Like, let me just take you out to dinner so you can reject me at your doorstep. Can we just do that right now? <laughs> let's get, get right to it. Pick, we'll pick the most expensive thing on the menu. Go ahead and order it. I'll pay for it right now. Your check, please. Here we go. Anyway, um... It's called having an ex-wife. I'm kidding. Um, and so, uh... It's, <laughs> So they pull me over, and so he gives me the ticket, and, he, and he's about to walk away, and he's like, well, do you have any questions? I mean, I just got a several hundred dollar ticket, I don't have any questions for you, except where would you like me to slice your throat? Here or here? But um, as he's leaving, he sees the cookies, and he goes, you know what, in all my years of law enforcement, 
I've never pulled someone over that was baking cookies on the dash. <laughs> and I just looked at him, I go, does that make you feel good? He just gave Chef Boyardee here a ticket. <laughs> And then he asked one more time, any questions? And I go, no, I don't have any questions! So he left, and then I, I cried on my way to Ogatron, but I felt better because I ate some cookies! And they were very good. And Sabbath, he was very intrigued by this. this. This use of the car to not only get from point A to point B, but to also cook things. Sweet origin. Sweet, sweet confection. And so he comes downstairs, and we see that the cookies are done. And so then we bring them upstairs, and then now the cookies are all the mobile. And so then we eat some cookies, and we have a great time. And everybody, uh, we pass out from a sugar rush, and then we wake up, and I'm cosplaying as Italy from Italia, and, <laughs> and Chris is cosplaying as Death the Kid, and I'm like, wait, you're not Death the Kid. <laughs> and then I look in the mirror, and I'm actually cosplaying Edward Elric. <laughs> Look at you, you're Sergeant Frog, now look at me, I'm Death the Kid, now look at you, you're Chris Sabin, now look at me, I'm Piccolo. <laughs> and it got very weird. And then I drove back to the film set, thinking about that conundrum. Yeah. And then I get there, and so I, I am filming a movie, it's like this supernatural horror-y, horror -y movie, that means a movie full of horror. Uh, and so we're filming till very late in the morning, and so we film till like 3 o'clock, 3 a.m., something like that. And so I literally slept for an hour. Now, I'm gonna reenact what sleeping for an hour is like. It's literally like, time to get up. <laughs> That's what it's like. And so we drove to the airport. I had to set three alarms in my phone because my, my mind is my own worst enemy. It's always like, no, no, go to sleep. It's okay, you can wake up. But then my other mind is like, no, 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 well, we gotta get up get to the airport. And the other mind is like, look at you, you're in an alarm clock. Look at me, I'm sleeping. And I'm like, stop that. <laughs> And so then we woke up and we went to the airport and I was on a plane and, and as I'm walking down the aisle and I find my seat, of course I, I, I'm on the planes a lot. I, I fly all over the world but I, I'm nowhere near as cool as Bruce Wayne. And um, I'm looking at the people coming down the aisle and I see a woman with a baby who's already crying. And I'm like, baby don't come this way. And she's looking at me and she goes, did you just call me baby? I go, no I didn't call you baby. I called your baby baby. And then the baby comes, and the baby, of course, of course, has to sit next to me. <laughs> and then she goes, don't worry, the baby will be sleeping. And I go, so will I. <laughs> and so they sit down, and of course, they have to take up so much room, so much, that I'm sleeping literally like this. <clears throat> but it's, it's giving me warmth. She is acting as my tauntaun on the plane. <laughs> and so I cut her left side open, and I buried myself within her. <laughs> It's okay! She had some mini pretzels to get her through it. So I kept the this side of my body very warm. And she lied to me. She doesn't even know my name and she lied to me. She told me the baby would be sleeping. The baby wasn't sleeping. But I was sleeping. And then I wake up and there's a crick in my neck because I have a very fat head. And when I sleep my head bobs everywhere and it goes every which way. And it looks very disgusting and gross because the faces I usually make are much like a sleeping dead koala. Like <laughs> People come by and put little eucalyptus tablets in my mouth. And then I grow some sort of kangaroo pouch. I'm like, wait, kangaroos don't eat eucalyptus. And I go, look at you, you're a koala. Look at me, I'm a kangaroo with a pouch. And we woke up and we came here. And now we're here at Anime World Chicago! This is an iPhone case uh, right here, and it is made by, this is a very unique case. I don't know if you guys can see it on the back of it. There's Ling from Full Metal Alchemist. <laughs> Alan Walker uh, from D. Gray Man. There's Hiku, from <laughs> High School Host Club. Everyone's in there. Italy from Natalia is right there. And then there's Kero and Sergeant Frog. I got this case, and I didn't put it on my phone immediately. And the person that made me this case got very frustrated with that. They got very upset. They even almost yelled at me. They broke my arm. This is a robotic arm. <laughs> the person that made this case for me was one Victor Mignan. Um, I know, that's what I said when I found it. Uh, and so I decided to wear it, but it's starting to chip away a little bit at the bottom here. And for don't tell Vic that. Don't, never let me talk about that on a public forum. So, uh, we're gonna have a good time here. 
And I don't know if you guys have been to this hotel before. If you were here for Ace and you got to see some awesomeness, that was that convention. And now you get to see some awesomeness here. There's only one place I'd rather be than this convention, and it is inside of a s'more the size of the earth. Because only being inside of a s'more and enraptured by its marshmallowy goodness can it match the enthusiasm and excitement that I sense that will come from this place this weekend. <laughs> Can you have a live shark egg nursery right above you? <laughs> I get dibs on the first hammerhead. <laughs> Showing up at the Chicago courts. Here, I'm, I'm here to pay child support for my hammerhead shark. <laughs> uh, we've got a lot of cool people here. We've got a lot of great guests. That's what's beautiful about Anime World Chicago, besides the awesome cosplay that you guys are doing and the enthusiasm that I see out here. How many times, how many people came to Anime World Chicago last year? <laughs> Oh, fantastic. How many people got dragged here because all the other classes were full and you need this credit so you had to come here? <laughs> That's good! That means every one of you wants to be here. And I have to say that it is, it is really amazing that you guys are here because, uh, and this is very true, and, and I don't know if people realize it, but this is your only first weekend of August of 2012 that you'll ever have, ever, 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 and you're choosing to spend it here. That's, that's a really special thing. That's amazing. You can't, you're not going to get it again. Unless... No, no, I won't say that. Never mind. But you're, you're not going to get it again. This is going to be your only one, and you're here with us, and we get to share it together, and we're going to have a big bonfire in the hotel before we get kicked out. It's going to be great. Yeah, From the s'mores. That's right. I said that very thing to a s'more one time, and what was underneath was glorious. Um, okay, so I'm going to introduce some guests up here, and if they would like, we will have them up here to say hello and to greet you in their native tongue of English. Um, this person right here, they've been in the industry for, for over 13 years. How many people are 13 years old? They've been doing it longer than you've been alive. It's pretty fantastic. They've worked with ADV Films. They've worked with Funimation, of course. You will find them in Black Butler. You will find them in Bacchano. You will find them in Burst Angel, in Black Cat, Chrome Show Radios, Chrome Crusade, Claymore, DN Angel, D Gray Man, Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen. Oh, wait, no, that was actually a fairy tale. I don't know how to read sorry. Italia. They were the flying mint bunny. You take their droppings and put it in chocolate ice cream, you've got mint chocolate chip ice cream. They were in one piece, they're in Sergeant Frog, Shuffle, Speed Grapher, Subasa Chronicles, Witchblade, a show called And Many More. You can also see them as Bulma in Dragon Ball Z Kai. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give a warm AWC root beer float welcome. <laughs> to Monica, the voice reader! Accelerated aging, see me after. <laughs> She's been in over 40 titles! 
I don't think I even have 40 CDs in my house. She has more CDs than I have in my house. She's voiced in Full Metal Alchemist, the star of Milos. She was in My Bride as a Mermaid. She was the love interest that my neck feared in Rosario plus Vampire. She was in Dance in the Vampire Bund goodness. No, we just saw that show as inappropriate if you're under the age of 18. Baca and Test. She was, she's in many announced things and unannounced things because she's a hard-working actress. On top of her voice work, she's been an active cosplayer. She is one with you. And you've probably stolen some of her cosplay ideas and she's gonna forgive you if you come to her panels. She's been featured in the book Cosplay in America. It's been banned in four of the 50 states. It's that good. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm, delicious graham cracker, marshmallow, <laughs> milk chocolate <laughs> to Alexis, the voice actress Rapunzel Tipton. J-pop singer from Tokyo, straight from the source. It doesn't get more pure than that. It's like she's been put through a human Asian Brita filter <laughs> for the purest bit of Japanese you can get. She has uh, done so much. She's got fantastic CDs waiting for you to come experience. She's going to be here. She's written original songs with a fantasy world concept. Her first album actually came out November of 2011 called Mirage. It's very high energy, it's got ambient styles, things that you need more of in your bloodstream. <laughs> I've talked to Xavier about this, he told me, he's a psychic. Um, she's going to be performing this weekend, you need to make it a point to go see her and check this out because nowhere else, not even at Giordano's are you going to see a J-pop performer. I know you love that pizza, but this is going to be better for you. <laughs> she, I want to shrink you and put you in my pocket and take you across the border of L.A. Sakurabi. Read 
good about it? Woo! Yeah! <laughs> the planet Charon? Yeah! <laughs> so, um, this actor, I, mean, I, I can't even call him an actor, it's more of a demigod status. He wears robes when he records, it's very strange. <laughs> but I'm not a demigod, maybe that's what you do. Um, he has logged over 22 years of classroom instruction, teaching maybe some of you, because that's what he does. Even if you've never met him before, you've learned from him. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> He's a kabuki master. He's going to be doing interactive workshops this weekend. He is a marionette, it's kabuki. dark Sith Lord. <laughs> that's still good, though. That's still good. Um, and he is, he has a theater company, a puppetry theater company called the Theater de Marionette. He is one of my closest friends. He's been with Funimation since the very beginning. If you break open Funimation and look on their floorboards, you will see Kent Williams and Funimation with a heart around it. <laughs> he is a staple there. He has done everything. He is father and full of his brotherhood. He's been the UU Hockey Show, Fruits Basket. Dr. Giro and Dragon Ball Z. He's in One Piece, Trying in Trinity Blood. And he's in one more show, an exclusive show, a very important show. It's 52 episodes long. It's called Your Heart. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, may I present Kent, the Alfred Pennyworth, to my Bruce Wayne Williams. Today, a little bee stung. A little bee stung. But it's going to be good. Tomorrow, some stunt fighting, so I hope to see all of you there. Even the wee ones, I can spot you. Actually, thank you guys so much. This is a great time. It's my third time in Chicago in a year. Woo! Uh, he was telling me about the bee sting, and it sounded like it was like. And it's like blocking out the sun. That's how big this bee was. <laughs> And like it's tractor beam, he's like working in the he's getting sucked up in the bee tractor beam. The honey tractor beam. Um, this this gentleman, uh, he is local, not local, US local, but he comes from overseas. I've done many an event with him. He does the Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged series. You know that, don't you? Uh, he has done so much online. He's got a great presence. He's very personable. You need to go see him. You need to learn his wisdom of living life overseas. You need to see him in the dealer room. He's going to have his own table. You need to go check it out and patronage it. You need to ask him about the Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge series. You need to ask him about Team Four Star. <laughs> if you don't know who they are, they do Dragon Ball Z abridged. Yeah. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present Hey guys, uh, just in case you guys don't know, there is an app on the uh, guidebook uh, app to the less you download the Anime World Chicago because I had to get that because I have no idea what I'm doing this weekend. <laughs> so, just just so you guys know, I do like Todd said, I do have a booth in the dealers hall. I have to rush off after the, after being on stage and go tend to that. But uh, I do have a panel this uh, today called How Not To Be Internet Famous, which is all about my trials and tribulations on, online, trying to be a big deal and then failing, so it'll be hilarious. <laughs> and then tomorrow I have a panel uh, about QPO Overridged, which is my thing, so. When you look at this man's profile, you will see things like the Joker and Lego, Batman. He was Superman. He was in titles such as Blade, Ghost in the Shell, the Ra Ra Ra. He's in the incredibly popular and critically acclaimed Monsuno. If you guys haven't heard of that, you need to check it out. I'm gonna try that again. He was in the critically acclaimed Monsuno. He's been in Gundam. He's been in Fullmetal Alchemist and Star of Milos. Them 
Vampire Night. You're in Lagan. And in what not to wear. Great show. Skyrim, also. Don't forget. Christopher Mann after my heart. martial art films in Hong Kong. He's a gold medalist for the USA Chinese martial arts team. Gold medalist, folks. Um, he is a true ultimate weapon 
Um, he actually was about to snap my neck backstage, but then I was like, oh, you know, opening ceremony! So he's gonna wait until afterwards, but I didn't even see him coming. I thought I was alone back there, and then next thing I know, oh, he's right there about to kill me. Um, he's probably what the Born Identity Trilogy was based on, ladies and gentlemen, Don Hyun K and his crew. Costumes from scratch. If you want to learn how to do it, if you have questions about how to do cosplay, this is the, these are the guys you need to go talk to. You need to see their panels. They've got a lot of good knowledge to give you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, may I present? And sewing is half the battle. presenter. Uh, this group, they were the first to create uh, an online solution to the voiceover casting process. They did that in 1998. They added on-camera and print casting capabilities in 2009. They connect 150 top voiceover talent agencies to over 1,600 ad agencies, animation houses, and production houses around the world. More than 140,000 projects have been cast using the system, and more companies join the service every single day. They are not Skynet, ladies and gentlemen. They are Voice Registry. And I just wanted to mention. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we, as you can see, we've got a lot going on this weekend. We're in a beautiful location. We're, of course, we're in Chicago. There's, there's going to be great fun hat, great panels that you need to check out. But I want to introduce to you the man behind all of this, the Oz to your Munchkin Land. <laughs> the Munchkin Land was colorful, like Pikachu. Um, ladies and gentlemen, Oz himself, Alec Peters. Called Oz before. Called Cowardly Lion. Called Tin Man. Flying Monkey once. <laughs> anyway, thanks all for coming. Um, really appreciate you all being here. Uh, this being our second year here in Chicago. Uh, once again, who was here last year? <laughs> Thank you all for coming back. We appreciate that. We really do. Um, uh, just a little uh, bookkeeping. Someone lost their wallet. Aww. It's a really ugly wallet. <laughs> There was a couple bucks in it. Yeah, not, not that few. <laughs> uh, who lost the wallet? Check your, check your back pockets. Check, well, actually it's a girl's wallet. Check your purse. Who's lost? Raise your hand if you lost your wallet. Because I really don't want to keep this wallet. No? All right, must have been someone outside lost their wallet. Just show you, I'm serious, it's a Hello Kitty wallet. Your 
So anyway, uh, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll hold on a second. Um, listen, I don't want to spend any time, any of your time up here. I want to thank you very, uh, very much for coming. I do want to say, uh, ask you all, how many people have uh, a Facebook page? How many don't have a Facebook page? MySpace! Hey, we have, we have a panel for those. <laughs> Facebook 101. Yes, no. If you have a Facebook page, please all of you ha, go and update your Facebook page and tell everyone you're at Anime World Chicago, okay? We really appreciate that. And, uh, and, and make sure you tag us. Uh, put a link to our, our, our Facebook group if you can. Uh, we have like 24,000 likes on Facebook, which is never enough. I wish we had 24,000 people here. But we got all the really important ones. So please make sure you tag us on Facebook. If you if you tweet, do that tweeting thing. Uh, whatever 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 else you can do to spread the word. Because the, the more the more people we have coming to Anime World, the bigger event we'll have next year. Last year we were at the Marriott. This year we're at the Hyatt. Woo! Um, next year hopefully we'll take over the convention center. So I want to. Uh, so, there's um, uh, someone really, really important to this whole event who you just met, and uh, I'm going to introduce her again, uh, Elena from uh, Sewing is Half the Battle. She's also <coughs> our director of programming, so all the cool things that happen here are because she thought it up and decided that needed to do it. So, I'm going to let her come, she's going to come, well, Elena, come on up here, and Laura, her other, her sister Laura is also, um, her sister Laura got, um, we're putting into registration. Usually she's up here doing this. So uh, uh, Laura is up there. If you pre -reg who pre-registered for the event? Yeah, nice. Okay. So you got your badge from Laura. Uh, and Laura's usually the one uh, up here doing this. So I'm going to hand this over to Elena. She's going to give out some cool stuff. And then we're going to let you guys go and start having fun all weekend. Please, the only thing I ask is be safe here, okay? Let's not burn down anything. <laughs> Despite what Todd says. No burning, no open s'mores pits. Because those are really messy to clean up, let me tell you. And then I get the bill from the hotel. No, you had eight s'mores pits, that's $3,000 a piece. Please. Um, no, but really, just be safe, have fun. If you need anything, you see Anime uh, World staff wearing these obnoxious green shirts. Why don't you stand up and turn So if you see staff with one of those blind green shirts, it says staff on the back. They're all volunteers. You can come up and ask them for something if you need something. If you, uh, or you can come up and hunt down Elena or me or Brent or anyone and we will be more than happy to help you. Okay, so now over to Elena. How many of you have downloaded the guidebook app? Yes, it's awesome. Yay! It's awesome! You heard it from the, the true source right here. If you have not downloaded the guidebook app, it is a free app. It is available for iPhone and for Android both. So both of your mainline operating systems are covered. And it includes our program guide, our automatic schedules, special information, event descriptions. So you don't have to carry around the big stack of papers that you got at registration. You can just pull it up on your phone. And we also have a feedback form built into that app. We would really appreciate your feedback because one of the things we want to do at this con to make us different from every other con on the block is to do exactly what you guys want. We want to put things on the program schedule that you request. So if you fill out that feedback uh, form on the guidebook app and send it to us or post on our forums or send us an email and say, I really want this particular event next year, odds are good we'll add that event next year. So if you want it, tell us. Um, also, for those of you with a device that connects to the interwebs, how many people have a Twitter account? What's Twitter? It's, it's this little blue bird that flies around and drops messages of 140 characters on people's heads. It's sanitary, don't worry. Um, if you have a Twitter account and you tweet using the hashtag AnimeWorld, all one word, we are going to be giving out some special things during the weekend because all of us are monitoring your tweets. So I want to see somebody tweet something right now. Tweet something about opening ceremonies right now. This is, this is just 
Twitter. I'll get to Guidebook in a second. While we're waiting on this to refresh, the Guidebook app is in your App Store or your Google Play Marketplace or whatever whatever device you use. Just search for Guidebook and then you can download the uh, Anime World schedule. How many people like free stuff? How many people like to be first in line for events? Some of you? Okay. Who is Akira Twix? First tweet I got on my feed. Guess what you get? You get a special pass to jump the line and be first in line for any event you choose. If you want to go to the front of an autograph line, you get to do it. If you want to go to the front of the restroom line because you really have to go to the bathroom, you get to do it. That's a one-time use card. If you guys would like a jump the line pass, Keep posting interesting things on Twitter. We're going to randomly pick people and tweet about it all week, and we'll tell you to come to the office and get a pass. Is that a question in the back? Yeah. You'll have to take that up with the tournament organizers. That's not my department. All right, so a uh, little bit of housekeeping. Alec de dealt with some things. We've got a lot of fantastic cosplayers here, absolutely wonderful costumes. Uh, we have a masquerade. We also have a hall cosplay contest. We would love for you to sign up for those. But for those of you who are running around with cameras trying to play Pokemon and catch them all with your cosplayers, because <laughs> I know you're out there. Oh, haven't seen that one. Quick, take a photo. We've got a couple of things. First of all, this hotel gets kind of crowded, especially on Saturdays. We have a lot of people in the hallways. And what the people in the hallways do not want to do... Can I borrow you for a second? You can stand right here. May I take your photo? I love your costume. Sure! And I take her photo, and all the people coming down the hallway are backing up, and there's a traffic jam, and people are getting really irritated, and some guy tries to run in front and cuts in front of my photo, and I get a photo of his shoulder instead of the pretty cosplayer. Thank you, please. <laughs> so, what we want to do is... Here's your new new mantra to chant for photographing cosplayers. Shoot down, not across. That means shoot the length of the hallway, not across the hallway. If you want to take a photo, you can put your cosplayer here, and you take the photo here, and traffic goes by you this way. Isn't that great? <laughs> it's very complicated, but I have faith that you can learn how to do this. Really, you're smart people. Don't you leave the car, you can get the camera in the hallway. Um, also, there are two main sections of the convention. I don't want anybody getting lost and wandering upstairs and never coming back down to the con. This is main programming. Over here we have panel one, which is our other main events room. Behind you, we have panels two and three in Union. That's off to this side. And then if you go down the escalators to the underground level, the floor below us, that's where the vendor rooms, the video rooms, the gaming, all of that stuff is downstairs. It's all in the same area. And there will be signs down there to point you in that direction. So if you're looking for something to do, which we have so much to offer, you can find it all in this area immediately or go downstairs and in that area immediately. You don't have to wander the rest of the hotel hoping that you run into something interesting. So, are you ready to have a good time? Yeah. I thought you might be ready. Coming up immediately in the next hour, next door we have Anime Sentai Jam Ranger, which is a live action Sentai show for your viewing pleasure. We have, for, if this is your first con, we have do's and don'ts of anime conventions, which is some pointers on how to enjoy your con. Uh, we have, I believe, is it this is coming up in here, I think? Maybe? Yes, Kabuki Workshop is in here next, I think. So, 3 p.m. in here, we've got a little bit of setup to do first. So, you are ready to go out and have the best time of your life at this con. Oh, yes, we also have a scavenger hunt for you. Hey guys, there's a scavenger hunt right across the where registration is. We have two going on this weekend. One is if you're here all weekend and you have Facebook or Twitter, we're doing a photo find. And then another one is if you're here any days, um, it's we have silently posted things around the convention center and you just find it. And there's prizes and it's free, so check out the scavenger hunt and have a lot of fun, okay? So, I turn you loose, go out and have fun! I'm
叫んである君の明日が全て輝